At Ammonoosa Community Health Services in Littleton, New Hampshire, a miracle of sorts is happening. Healthcare costs, emergency department visits, and inpatient hospitalizations of their diabetic patients are all dropping. In 2009, Ammonusa Community Health Services was asked by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to participate in a pharmacy collaborative. This clinical pharmacy collaborative gave us an opportunity to further integrate our behavioral, medical, and pharmaceutical care of our patients in the context of a patient-centered medical home. In order to do that, we focused on our 62 diabetics who had 12 or more medications that they had to manage to take care of their health. And we put a team together that was comprised of a physician, myself, a patient navigator who was also a pharmacy technician, and a pharmacy technician who was also a certified medical assistant. As a result of this multidisciplinary team effort to enable patients to better understand the medications they're taking, we realized in reviewing the medications with the patient that there were instances that they could legitimately take fewer medications. And as a result, at the end of a year, we started with 62 diabetics who had 12 or more medications on their active medication list. And at the end of the year, there were only 30-some who still had 12 or more meds on their active medication list. And that makes it simpler for patients to take their medications, and it saves the healthcare system money in not taking medications that are no longer necessary. So that was one of our key findings. In addition to that, upon review of the data, we looked at emergency department use for non-trauma, and we looked at hospitalizations for non-trauma. And when we looked at the data, we realized that from the prior year to the collaborative to a year after the collaborative, there was a 22% decrease in hospitalizations and a 32% decrease in emergency department use. So that's the value in integrating pharmacy services with medical and with behavioral that patients better understand how to take their medications. They may be able to take fewer because we've reviewed and reconciled the medications they take. And we can decrease the likelihood that they'll end up at the emergency department or admitted as a result of not taking their medications properly.